Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I have another new Vancouver feature for you and it is Stockroom Records. I know that doesn't sound like something I'd usually make a video about, but I was so impressed with the overhaul of the Stockroom Record in the next experience. I'm in the release notes for hardware asset management. That's what's right up behind me. You'll also find this in enterprise asset management release notes and maybe somewhere else. But if you scroll down to uh, the very bottom there, I've already went past it, there is is the improved stock room record form view for effective inventory management. You can click on this link and it'll take you to the documentation for viewing stock room details. Um, but essentially, it's a completely overhauled experience when looking at a stock room form. So let me go ahead and open that, open that up, show you what it looks like. I'm in the hardware asset workspace. I'm gonna navigate to inventory, which is this little like building um, sitting by itself there on the left-hand side. If I hover over that, I see inventory, I click on that, it's gonna take me to the inventory landing page. I get an overview. You've probably seen all this before. Lovely, lovely stuff in the hardware asset workspace. But what's new is gonna be this stock room. So I'm gonna head over here to all stock rooms and we're gonna see all the stock rooms that are in my demo showcase. And I'm pretty sure the California warehouse um, is gonna be the one I wanna look at. So I'm just gonna look for contains. I think it's Southern California. Southern California, all lowercase. Let's see if I spell that right. Yeah, there we go. It's at 615 North Bush Street in Santa Ana, California, owned or managed by Eric Admin. And now you are about to see the new stock room record form in the asset workspace. And here it is. This is what it looks like. So right away, there are some top cards at the top showing um, active hardware stock orders, hardware RMA request lines, hardware loaner orders and shipments that are related to the stock room. So pretty cool there. I've also got a map showing where this stock room is located in the world. I have not configured Google Maps for this instance, so it is like centered over Africa and South America. Um, but uh, so it's obviously not pulling the location that is in California. But um, essentially, if you had Google Maps set up properly, that would show there. Then I've got your stock room details, which you'd expect. There's the name, assignment group, location, and all that good stuff, um, and whether to exclude it from distribution channels and service locations and whether to mark it as external. But we've also got a task timeline. This is new in Vancouver where we can see all pending transfer orders, loaner orders, and RMA request lines related to the stock room. Let's go ahead and go out to four weeks and then let's go into the past. Let's see if I have any data. I don't think I've got any. Yep, there's some data. So we've got some loaner orders back in September and beginning of October, plus some RMA request lines. There's how they show up. You click on them, it opens up that record in the workspace so you can view uh, information related to that asset. So a pretty functional um, task timeline there, obviously adjustable. And uh, are those filters? Let's see, outbound, inbound, work activities. I think it's just a legend here on the upper left-hand side showing what the different colors mean on the calendar itself. So. Uh, pretty cool there. Next up, of course, a list of all the hardware that's in that inventory location, all the consumables, any bundles and pallets. I think pallets are something new in Vancouver as well. I'm not a, I'm not like a super, super expert, but I've gone through a lot of release notes and I think pallets is one of them. Hardware loaner, pool, loaner pools, service locations. So having locations being serviced by the stock room and then distribution channels available as well. So that's the general overview of this new stock room record form. I think it's really, really functional. It's sometimes it's a small things that make a big, big difference in the day-to-day -day experience of an admin. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in a better experience for stock rooms in their service now instance. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.